Yeah, and, uh, and that's sort of, there's two directions I actually want to take that comment because in part, I want to get to memory a little bit, but the other part is that, um, so we have that uh, similarity here of lynchings um, over racial questions, but the other part that I kind of was curious about, uh, maybe something that you're going to flash out in the future, but we have like, or it almost sounds like we have things like convict lease systems in the West um, in the antebellum years. And we have debt peonage in, in the West, which you could look at as, as sort of like a sharecropping, um, not more severe, obviously, but not, but similar in nature. Um, and we have Southerners in the West. So in part, I'm kind of wondering how much, how much did Southerners learn from these these systems in the West and bring to the South after emancipation? That's a really good question. I wish I had a better answer for you on that one. Um, uh, it's, it's possible that there were some techniques that were adopted from the Southwest. Um, I, I don't think there's a sort of a, an extensive conversation about how to sort of redeploy that in the post-Civil War South, but um, I, I could be wrong. Definitely something worth studying. Um, yeah, uh, for sure. Because I, again, I just interviewed Elaine Roberts, and she kind of seemed to indicate, or at least raise the question in in her book with regard to Oklahoma, that did the one drop rule maybe start in in the territories and then gets adopted mm. in the South? So um, maybe something for Southern historians here to consider is that the West yeah, is important yeah. <laughs> too. <laughs> Not the Civil War historians need to pay attention to the West, but Southern historians do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's sort of a, an underlying motive in the book. Um, yes. To bring these two regions into conversation and, you know, to, to see the ways in which not only the South influences the West, but the West also sort of shapes the South. I mean, I wish I had a better answer for you on the question of peon labor, but um, you know, the South draws, the, the slave South draws power in so many ways from its representation in the West. Yeah. 